Tonight is the award ceremony for the Landscape Photographer of the Year 2023. So I'm heading into London. Let's go. So to help manage expectations, I am not expecting to win anything this evening. I've been invited to the award ceremony because I was shortlisted. But the good news is that my friend Jamie Fielding and Louise Welcome have both got through to the next round. So Jamie's joining me this evening, but Louise is off traveling, taking a landscape photographs. So let's get in there. first one uh, which is supported by MPB Alan I hope I pronounce it right Alan Lakely L-E-I-G-H-T-L-E-Y -E -E he may, Alan may not be here but hopefully he'll he'll learn that he's been has a commended image rather a striking one Martin Priestley also commended Jay Birmingham commended on the front of the book too Jason Hudson commended highly commended Lloyd Lane important to be able to see this and Rick Bowden also highly commended and another highly commended Martin Priestley we have to go through them at reasonable rate because we've got quite a few and the w winner of Classic View I'm pleased to say is Julian <laughs> and we're going to start again seeing um, commended in the way that we have in that structure. Louise Welcome, John Seeger, Jeremy Walker, commended, highly commended, Jamie Fielding, Colette Hood, highly commended, Ben Latu Smith, if I pronounce it right, highly commended, another highly commended, James Abbott. And the winner is Nick Doggerty. I'll take a highly commended. <laughs> and uh, we're now going to move straight into commended with Fiona Campbell, commended, Stuart Bennett, commended, Adam Burton, commended, and Sean Mills, commended. And highly commended, Lilac Evening. And highly commended, Louise Welcome. And highly commended, again, Jamie Fielding. And the winner is... And second, twice, mate. Daniel Ruffles. Landscape Photographer of the Year is. I've, we've just got to keep this tension. <laughs> but feel the power here. Feel the power. Are you oh, ready? Yeah, let's ready? reveal. Ready to go. Mick Doherty. Wow, what an evening. Uh, I think I should start off by saying thank you to the organizers because if I was on the receiving end of one of those awards, that is how I would want it to happen. Being surrounded by my fellow photographers and Charlie Waite actually giving you the award. That's the way it should be done. So thank you for making the effort. Obviously going all the way to London, a lovely venue, great atmosphere. Yeah, I just thought I would say thank you to all the organizers for making that happen because it's a really lovely evening. Congratulations to Mick Doherty, the overall winner. It was lovely talking to you and finding out a little bit about your winning image. And um, yeah, congratulations to all of the winners. Everybody that was shortlisted, well done for everybody else that entered. 
and uh, obviously the uh, the lucky few that are in the book and that were commended and highly commended well done to everybody it was lovely standing next to Jamie the look on his face as he was told that his images are in the book and he's got highly commended and uh, Obviously Louise wasn't there, she's actually in Slovenia taking landscape photographs, which is a damn good excuse. Uh, but my pocket was vibrating like mad as she was saying, Ben, please tell me, please tell me that you've got this on camera, Charlie Wake, saying my name. So yeah, good news is, caught all of that on camera. If you haven't seen my previous videos, this is the first time that I've entered the competition. I'm definitely motivated to enter in future years. <clears throat> and to put things into perspective, when I spoke to Mick, I said, how many times have you entered now that you're the winner? And he said, this is probably his 10th time entering. So I don't feel so bad considering I've entered once and I've been shortlisted. He's entered 10 years running and now he is the overall winner. So well done. Jay Birmingham, who was the photographer that got the front cover image. Um, I don't think he was there last night. I mean, in terms of drone shots, that's a really, really nice drone shot. So well done, Jay. Your image is on the front cover of this year's book. Very jealous. So what I'll do, once all of the links become available on the Landscape Photography website, I'll put that at the top of the description below. And if you're not familiar, essentially what they do is they have an exhibition in various train stations around the UK. If you want to see these images printed large, I'll put a link in the description once that becomes available. Okay, I think that is everything for today. It's been an adventure. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.